Hi guys, welcome back to uh, Commodore Forever on YouTube. Uh, today we're going to be talking about setting up BBS server on a um, Windows 10 computer and getting it to, to work so you can uh, set up uh, any type of uh, old BBS program using Telnet. So we'll start off by saying what I did was I purchased a uh, old HP computer off of Newegg.com and I bought this specifically for running my BBS. Um, I actually was running three at one time and we'll get into that in just a little bit. But uh, what I did was I looked for one on Newegg because they have uh, refurbished computers on there or you know older computers that their people are trying to dump or whatever. But this one came standard with a serial port, which you're gonna need. Um, but I also added extra serial ports in there just by buying a, a, a cheap card, uh, which I got off Newegg also. And uh, this one gave me uh, two extra serial ports. So in combination with one of these and the one that's built in, you can run, well, you can run way more than three. But I was running three um, bulletin boards at the same time um, using um, BBS server, which is a, a good little program. Um, and what it does is it basically emulates a, a modem. So uh, what I did was I um, installed or, or downloaded BBS Server 1.4, and it came in a, it came in a zip file. So I unzipped it um, in three different uh, with three different file names. Uh, you see, I have A, and A2, and A3. Um, this way, I could run uh, three different versions at once. And when you run it, run it in um, as administrator and we'll wait for it to open and while we're waiting on it to open um, uh, you're also gonna need a um, RS-232 type device to run your Commodore BBS uh, this one runs through the cartridge port this one is designed by GG Labs and uh, I build them and sell them on the website. So we'll put a link to those on there. You'll also need a, a null modem cable. Um, and you'll want um, female to female. This one's 10 foot. Uh, you can get them shorter, um, longer, whatever. Um, don't go too long though, because you'll have uh, trouble with the signal. Um, you can also get a straight through um, serial cable and get a, um, an adapter to convert it over to a null modem. And we have those on the website too. We'll, we'll, we'll put a link up for those. Okay, so now we got our, our BBS server open. And, uh, you know, some people have said they can't get it to work with Windows 10. I've never had any problem with Windows 10. Um, I don't know if maybe it's because I don't really use this computer for anything else but running um, my BBS. I do run my uh, Plex server off of it so I can stream my movies also, but uh, I've never had any, any real trouble with this, okay? So what you're gonna do, um, depending on what type of setup you have, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to set up a Swift, SwiftLink compatible um, device um, with this. So what you do is you go into your advanced settings, and this one's already set up. Um, what I did was I set it for the max um, speed I could get which is uh, 38400 and you see the little drop down window has different options 38400 if you're using a um, a um, oh gosh my mind is completely blank if you're using the uh, turbo 232 compatible you can go all the way up um, even faster uh, I've seen other guys doing it on their bulletin boards and it's, it's awesome um, but for what I've got 38400 is gonna work great um, type of cable you're using um they say it's got tailnet bbs cable uh i'm using a null modem cable uh, i've never used any of these other ones i've never even tried them so i don't know what they're going to do and what type of cables they'll work with but just a null modem cable works fine um at 38400 i do enable the hardware flow control and everything else is pretty much standard it comes uh you know the way it's set up um here's connecting uh these are what my um, settings look like you see i only have a uh, raised dtr when a caller connects that's the only one i have checked disconnecting 
Um, this is pretty much standard as far as I can remember. Um, diagnostic. I do get the uh, detailed um, listing. So over here, when it, your, your modem's doing things, it'll tell you exactly what's going on. Okay, emulation. Uh, I am allowing outgoing calls. That way I can call out from my BBS and then enable Hayes emulation. And there you go. And that's, that's it. And then you just hit save and apply. Okay. Now here is your, um, your IP address for your computer and the port that I'm uh, the, allowing the calls to come in on. You'll have to set your, uh, your uh, router up to allow traffic to come in on this port and we'll discuss that in another video um, and then here is the COM port that I'm using for communication with my SwiftLink cartridge and, and my serial cable uh, serial port on the computer and um, you do want to um, go into your COM port settings on your computer go to device manager This computer is slow. It's an older computer. And you just go to your um, ports, COM ports. And this is COM port 5. I know that's what it's on. We're going to right click on it, go to properties. Okay, and port settings. Okay, uh, right now it's at 19200. We're going to set that all the way up to 38400 because that's the max speeds. Data bits 8, parity none, stop bits 1. Flow control is set to hardware. That's all I do. So we hit OK. It's going to save those settings for the COM port. And that's it. That is it. Completely it. <laughs> that's how I've gotten uh, my BBS server to work on the Windows 10. I never have any issues with it. It's rock solid. Um, and um, like I said, you can run more than one uh, BBS server at a time if you have multiple BBSs you want to run off the same computer. And so what I did was when I um, unzipped BBS server, I showed you a minute ago, I named them different. This is the uh, Commodore Forever one. And then this one says 14A2, and we'll open it, and I'll show you. Run it as administrator. And as long as you're not, you don't have a uh, conflict with your uh, COM port here, then you shouldn't have any issues. Um, just set it up for the COM port. The IP address will be the same as this one because you're using the same computer. The only thing you'll have to do different is your uh, Telnet port will have to be a different address. This one, in this case, this one was set up to 6401 on COM port 1. So this one will run independent from the first one. And then I even had a third one. And uh, this is when I was trying to run Seabase. <laughs> Uh, are, are just playing around with it but um, same thing the uh, IP address is the same the telnet port was set up different and com port is set up different so all these will run independent from each other and they 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 have never had a conflict when I was running them before so if you have multiple BBS's and you want to condense down what you're doing you can run them all off the same PC um, and that's pretty much it that's um, it's pretty simple to set up. Just make sure you got, um, you know, you got a good uh, SwiftLink card. You got a good no modem cable or the adapter. And um, if you have any questions, um, you know, leave a comment and I'll try to help you out.